getting a degree in environmental soil and water science allows you to fully understand the complexity of our big issues that we have going on right now. Uh, Northwest Arkansas, we can have issues arising from you know stream bank erosion um, all the way up to algal blooms or harmful algal blooms from cyanobacteria. And so in order to fully understand those very complex um, scenarios and situations, it allows us to be able to mitigate it for the future generations. So prevention is always key, but when they do arise, it does allow us to act in a way that is um, at the most cost-effective way, but in the most efficient way. Getting degrees like this allows you to be able to make changes within your community that are meaningful and impactful, not just the current, but also for the future. In my opinion, it helped me, um, it facilitated in me, you know, a passion, not just for the environment, for soil, and then for water and everything like that. And, um, but yeah, there, there are some that are very difficult. There are some that are, are easier, um, but all of them allow you to expand what you think you know and also gain insights that you may never have considered. And so the department allowed me to really hone in and focus um, on what I wanted to do, which is general environmental science. So instead of focusing specifically like on water science or soil science, I took a broad assortment of classes. There is a, a need for people who are educated in the environmental sphere. And the program here allows you to build on that knowledge and also meet people that are completely different than you and give you different perspectives in life. And the advisors here are some of the top advisors. They truly care about what you do and want to help you, you know, achieve whatever goal you've set for yourself. Um, I was able to figure out what I wanted to do by, you know, talking to my advisor. The advisors there are really great. Um, they kind of get to know you and figure out where you want to go and then help you determine what classes you want to take um, and then what kind of path to take when it comes to extracurriculars, internships, and stuff like that. So my biggest takeaway was doing good science in order to help farmers and people further down the food chain. So people actually rely on farmers for food and livestock. And agriculture is essential to you know, human flourishing, so uh, any advancements in agriculture, food production, that sort of thing uh, is really important, both on a local scale for economics and on a worldwide scale.